Wow! I didn't know that this season got full-on paranormal and intensely spectacular all of a sudden. Well, during its theatrical episode, that is. That's packing some serious heat, if you ask me. But that wouldn't mean that a detective's work is ever done, now would it? So in that case, no pun intended, come, come, viewers, there's not a moment to lose. <laughs> Today, I'm gonna be reviewing Sherlock Series 3. In this particular season, Sherlock and Watson are still doing what they love, solving cases, fighting crime, but it also takes place in the 19th century, which also takes place in the mind palace of a drug-addled Sherlock who's struggling to deduce whether or not Moriarty is still alive. Wow, I'm speechless. This show keeps up in their ante strongly. First off, the camera work and cinematography still keeps you intrigued. Like for example, there's a situation in which one character gets mysteriously stabbed in the stomach by some sort of household guard soldier's belt, and we we the viewers as well as our characters get to figure out who set the kill switch that caused the death. Again, no spoilers, I'm just giving out a hint on who it is, but it happens in the show. Anyways, what I'm saying is the cinematography as well as their impressive editing skills still keeps you hooked on what's gonna happen in each episode, which is very well executed. The actor performance still keeps me entertained. Mo Fanagatis knows how to make the characters feel more important and interesting, especially about the part in the Abominable Bride episode, which got released in theaters in my home turf, and the episode that I saw with my siblings once. Anyways, it's during the scene where Sherlock is hallucinating in a jet and wants to go back to solve this ghastly ghost mystery, but Watson feels like he's let down by all this and thinks he's out of his mind and is out of control. But at the same time, I was like, yeah, he does have a point, Sherlock. Maybe you just need rest more often. That's how much I love the acting in the show. Also, do I need to touch upon the character development articulation? All I can say is they're all very believable. There's nothing more to be said about it. Moving on. The story and plotline, on the other hand, I have one problem about it though. Sometimes the switch in between the 19th century and the current Sherlock timeline can be a little confusing to me. But the writers completely made up for it by showing us Sherlock solving the whodunit, but in a way that shows him getting all the facts together in a manner that we're like, okay, now I get what he's talking about. So yeah, you might be underwhelmed with the story just a tad bit with the Abominable Brad episode, but at the same time, it can get pretty frightening too. No, I'm dead serious. It involves demonic imagery and intensely violent situations that are totally not for young kids whatsoever. I was all like, holy smokes, that bride's not messing around. But other than that, in the end, series three of Sherlock was an amazing continuation to the series. Like I said, it had great mystery, great performance, and also amazing editing. Man, they keep stepping up their game with the editing. It's just so amazing to watch on screen. I hope I get a chance to watch series four soon, but in the meantime, I rate series three five out of five stars. I mean, isn't that obvious? It's still a great show. I highly recommend it. So series three of BBC Sherlock, have you seen every episode? If you haven't, it's not too late. It's still streaming on Netflix. Go check it out while you still can. But if you have, come back and let me know in the comments what you thought about it. Also, if you like this video and you wanna see some more, make sure that like button shines in your face. That'll totally help me out a ton. Also, share that video with your family and friends and favorite it. That's a very good way to show support for this review. Also, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell right next to you so you can be notified of future videos that I have in store for you. And also, follow me on Stardust so you can catch early reactions to movies, TV shows, and trailers. I'll put the link of it below in the description so you can download the app for yourself. But until then, I'll see you next time. Peace out.